kids actually who are trained by by Miles uh, beat these geniuses in terms of mathematical mathematics. Yeah, yeah. that's right. That's crazy. Yeah, we heard about that many years ago. Mm. All right, so tonight you are in for a treat with Miles Jones and Patrick McGuire. Here's what you're going to see. He op opened up this bag, and the first thing he pulled it out was this book with pages of beaten gold. How, how big is this book? About the size of my two hands here. Okay, so five inches tall. Okay, about yeah, the size of this. About okay. this size, a little bit narrower. A little, right? It was yes. a little bit wider, too. So it was about the size of... So go gold. golden pages. Right. Well, when you open it up, yeah. And, okay. and holding a gold book in your hand is exciting enough, but that's not the thing that really excited me. It was right there. You can see on the book a signet circle, and I'll give you a better look at it, a signet circle with the yod heh vav -Hey in it. That's what interests me. Wow. <laughs> that caught my attention right away. You have the, in the ancient letters, you have the yod heh vav -Hey. mm. This is obvious. On the book, a signet circle, and I'll give you a better look at it, a signet circle with the yod heh vav -Hey in it. That's what interests me. <laughs> wow. That caught my attention right away. Right. Well, when you open it up, yeah. And, okay. and holding a gold book in your hand is exciting enough, but that's not the thing that really excited me. It was right there. You can see on the book a signet circle, and I'll give you a better look at it, a signet circle with the yod heh vav -Hey in it. That's what interests me. Wow. <laughs> that caught my attention right away. You had the, in the ancient letters, you have the yod heh vav -Hey. mm. This is obviously a Hebrew artifact that has been discovered in Arabia. Shalom, shalom, yasharala. All praises and glory goes to our mighty power. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweshai, Ba'ashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and salutations unto the legmen feet and the sheep of Yahweh. Our Shimmy, our shine, sincerity, and truth through this great gospel coming out of our Bible, coming out of our Bible, and um, yeah, every single day more and more artifacts are coming to light, proving everything that we've been teaching. Right? The main thing we've been pushing is the name of Yahweh, our Shimmy, our shine, right? Because there is no such thing as a Yehovah, a Yahweh, Yeshua, Yahuwah, right? These are names made up by the heathen. Because what the scriptures say? Let's get this verse. It's the book of Malachi 1 and 14. It says, but, but cursed be the deceiver, which hath in his flock a male, and voweth and sacrificeth unto Yahweh a corrupt thing. For I am a great king, saith the Lord of hosts, and my name is dreadful among the heathen. It says, my name is dreadful among the heathen. When you go into dreadful, right? dreadful it says causing or involving great suffering fear or unhappiness extremely bad or serious terrible frightful horrible grim the lord's name is terrible for the heathen frightening terrifying horrifying unspeakable gruesome tragic right grievous monstrous fearful distressing right that's why these heathens they don't want to call on your house and they can't call on Yahweh because they can't be saved. <laughs> That's not going to save them, right? Whose who's salvation for salvation is of the Jews. And this name is only given to who? The Israelites. It's the book of Isaiah 52 and 6. And it reads, therefore my people shall know my name, right? Therefore my people shall know my name. Therefore they shall know in that day that I am he that doth speak. Behold, it is I. Right, because the Lord got his prophets on the street speaking, and we are the mouthpieces of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. We're not coming under our own authority, right? We're not coming to promote ourselves, we're coming to promote our Lord, power, and Savior. Right? Because that's the only way we're gonna be delivered, that's the only way we're gonna be saved. There is no what the scriptures say. The book of Acts 4, verse 12, it says, Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved, whereby we must be saved. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So Jesus, God, that's not going to save you, right? 
that's not going to save you. And first off, you got to understand, this is the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and their descendants, not for the whole world. Like, that's where they got messed up. I'm going to read Jeremiah 16 and 21. It reads, And first I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double. Because they have defiled my land, they have filled mine inheritance with the carcasses of their detestable and abominable things. O Yahweh, my strength, my fortress, and my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth, and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies. Right? The vanity and things wherein there is none profit. Right? Because most of our people, what they inherited lies from what the slave master, from their forefathers. Right? This truth just coming out, just being refreshing back on the earth. Right? It says, Shall a man make gods unto himself, and they are no gods? Therefore, behold, I will this once cause them to know. I will cause them to know mine hand and my might, and they shall know that my name is what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Let's go to the book of Baruch 2 and 30. It says, For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people. But what? But in the land of their captivities they shall remember themselves and shall know that I am the Lord their power, for I will give them in heart and ears to hear. Right? That's what's happening right now to the prophets prophesying. Jake is waking up. Jake is waking up from the dead state and return from their stiff neck. I'm going to go back again. And shall know that I am the Lord their power, for I will give them in heart and ears to hear. And they shall what? And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. And think upon my name. You can't get away from this name. Right, the name is one of the most important pieces to this puzzle. Pieces to this puzzle. It says, "In return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the way of their fathers, which sinned before Yahweh." It's Ecclesiastes 17 and 10. It says, "And the elect, who, and the elect shall praise His holy name." Right, there's a reason why IUIC don't have the name, GOCC don't have the name. Um, and these other camps are still calling on Christ because they are not of the elect. They are not of the elect. What the scriptures say? This is the book of Romans 11, verse 7. It says, What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Right? And we just read, The elect shall know the name, call on the name of the Lord. But I'm reading again. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. According as it is written, the Most High have given them a spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. Yeah, this truth ain't for everybody. This truth is only for the elect of the children of Israel. Back to Ecclesiastes 17 and 10, it says, And the elect shall praise his holy name. <laughs> His name is not no Yahweh, Yehovah. His name is Yahweh. He is. He exists. Right? It says YHWH Strong's 3068. It says Virtu virtually all translations from Jeru Judaism, Judaism and Christianity use the Lord for the Hebrew name of God. But when you go down, it says the Hebrew YHWH is the verb. Yahweh is a verb, Hawa, meaning to exist, with the prefix Y meaning he. Therefore, the word YHWH means he exists. He is, he exists, Yahweh. And his son named Yahweh, Shai, the deliverer. He's here to save the children of Israel. And these are the names you're going to have to call on in the time of what? Tribulation. In the time of tribulation, because that's what's coming. Right? Also, the time of Jacob's trouble. Right? The Lord's going to set up a situation where you're going to have no choice but to call on him, to depend on him. And that's you, the elect. And that's what we've been practicing. We've been practicing on depending on Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Once you wake up to this truth, you can't depend on yourself. You can't depend on friends. You can't depend on family, politicians, <laughs> the people of this world. You got to depend on Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai to preserve you and to keep you to, so you could endure. <laughs> right? So you could endure until the end. Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. <laughs> the righteous runneth into it and is safe, right? Because only the righteous and the elect know his name. And the Lord gave his name only to certain men. It's the book of 
Father John 17 and 5, and now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self with the glory which I have, which I had with thee before the world was. It says, I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Right? So the men of Yahweh Shai, the men that Yahweh gave to Yahweh Shai, they know the name of the Heavenly Father. They know the name of the Son. It says, I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept my word. <laughs> right? They have kept his word. This is the book of Psalms 61 and 8. It says, For thou, O power, hast heard my vows. Thou hast given me the heritage of those that fear thy name. <laughs> thou wilt prolong the king's life in his years as many, as many generations. He shall abide before the Most High forever. O, peep, o prepare mercy and truth, which may preserve him. So will I sing praises unto thy name forever, that I may daily perform my vows. Right? That I may daily perform my vows. And what's our job daily? To feed the sheep. To feed the sheep through what? Through the power of the, through the power and strength of who? Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shalom.